So, done a quick video for you guys. Um, I mentioned this in the last video, I was going to do this at some point. Uh, this is wiring up one of these universal Chinese speedometers. Uh, to go with this, I've got one of these brackets. But these are universal brackets, and in this area here, they've normally got like a little uh, piece for a key, and they're designed to have two small speedometers, so maybe a rev counter here, speedo there. Um, I got one of these just for simple mounting for the minute because I didn't really want to go making custom brackets as it wasn't this quick. So I've cut this off and I've just widened the two holes out here to accommodate for the two bolts that stick out there on each side. Uh, another thing we're doing is slightly different. They come with these magnet speedos, right? And you get two of these little small magnets. And normally you put these on the wheel and as it goes past, if it hovers past there, that picks up your speed when you set these up. We're doing away with this. What we have is a digital um, speedo drive on the wheel instead. So it makes it a little bit easier and a little bit of a cleaner job. So with that, let's get started. So over to the bike, we've now got this fixed on with our bracket that we've modified slightly. Um, and what we've got under here is the bolts coming off these two clamps. Now this this entire top yoke is getting changed at some point very soon before it goes in for MOT. Because the previous owner's done this conversion has drilled these two holes. But it hasn't not only filled in the bottom of the yoke, which I would recommend you do because they're not designed for this type of way, but they've also not done them straight. So I'm waiting to order a new yoke to sort that issue out. But for the meantime, this fitment is slightly the same. So we're gonna work with this while we can and get this all sorted out. One thing I'd like to mention is of some of these. These are little um, connectors, vehicle connectors. They're used in cars, uh, on motorcycles. They're the same fittings as what Honda use. So you'll see some of the cables down here, like that one. That's going onto an original Honda fitting. Um, would recommend thinking about five, six quid, but I will drop a link in the description to an Amazon link. So to start with, you might notice here, we've got the time, so we do have power now. The way I've done that, with this particular one, is that there's a little cable down here. This is the cable that goes up, round to your key. Now on your key, with this tire, some of them have four cables, but it's the same rule, you'll have two. That one is coming off the battery, which if you looked in my previous video, you'll understand. One comes up from the battery, you turn the switch, and the other goes out, um, it's power out to the bike. So there's two on this that needs to be connected. One actually has to be hooked up to the battery, that's like the memory, so that saves you time, your settings, everything else. And then the other one is the power on, so when you turn the key, it lights up like it just did. So a simple way to figure that out is to get a multimeter. Um, I'm not going to unplug that just yet, so I've just got it on. This is another tool I'd recommend you get, is a multimeter. I've just got my cables unplugged, so just two seconds. So there's a multimeter. Now if you don't know how to use one of these, I would recommend you go and learn, it's really not that hard. Um, plenty of videos on YouTube, so I won't cover too much into that. So what I've done here, because this this bike, the cables are everywhere because this isn't the original engine for this frame. There's a slightly different motor. So I know that don't worry about the colours here, this is sort of like an extension cable that I've made out of an old loom that I've got lying around. But these two pretty much come off your um, ignition, so power in, power out. And they go up here to the main plug and if I just pop this out for a second <coughs> move this over here this is pretty much how they all look you've got three um, different style plugs you've got nine uh, wires here six wires here three here this side you don't have to worry about wiring up anything if you're using the magnet speedo because that is where your magnet speedo, speedo goes um, this grey cable here 
from what I understand on the one which it isn't that straightforward which I'll show you a trick for in a minute that is for gear 6 so if you've got 5 gear bike you'd use this 6 pin plug here one of them is neutral gears 1 to 5 this one here is for gear 6 I do know on some of these models that I fit before that cable is pink so it can vary this wire here which said on the instructions the great Chinese instructions that it was brown you can see in fact it's red and black and what that is is your engine light that flashes up here the way to test if you're really really stuck and you're like well, I'm not too sure if that's it is to obviously hook up your power so that it comes on turn your key put the wire in this side just stick it in any old way just like that in that little terminal and then bring that wire down to the negative side of your battery you know, that's important put it onto your negative side not your positive and you'll see a little light shine up here if that is your engine light very simple stuff so if I put this back in this is like my extension cable you'll see it's doing its little reset so the way I've got this I'll turn it that way it's a bit hard to see I know is I've got three cables at the minute there is nine in total the black one here this is the positive output from your ignition this green is ground and this red wire here is off the battery itself so you'll notice that two of those which should be if I can get hold of them uh, two of them, this orange one at the bottom and this blue one here are the ones that are going to my cables down here. Now these will be wrapped and then tucked around and under and these will fit into the back of the headlight that's going on here. So there's a lot of cable management to do on this one, but don't worry. <coughs> so that's the point that we're up to so far. We'll quickly jump in, jump to the next bit, I'll fit all those. And you'll kind of see where we're going with all of this and I'll give a quick overview of the wiring that's down in this section here. So that's pretty much everything hooked up into the bike now. Uh, as I was saying before, if you have a look at these cables down here, if you noticed in that time lapse I did, I taped everything together to try and make one sort of neat cable, and then the two plugs here next to each other, they'll be tucked out of the way. There's a lot of cable management to go on this bike before it ever goes out on the road, so don't freak out too much looking at this one. It's getting sore with that, I promise. Two things about this, your fuel sensor cable, <coughs> If you ain't got a motorcycle with a fuel sensor, just simply ground it out. So I'll put a little diagram in the corner um, on doing that. And as for when you're picking up your RPMs, that go up the top here, simply put that onto your coil if you don't have a uh, designated cable for it. So I'll put a diagram up for that as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. I will do another video on setting up this speedo and everything else um, all the settings that you need wheel settings everything like that there is a few other videos that cover it but i'm going to show my quick and easy way of doing it and hopefully it helps you guys out